How dangerous can spiders be? Well, today's video will show you that their small size should not be ignored. These creatures are as lethal as they can get. From spooky black widows to white-tailed spiders, here are the top 10 most venomous spiders. Number 10, Red-Headed Mouse Spider. Don't let the spider's demure name fool you. It's nothing like a mouse. Well, perhaps wandering at night to eat counts. The red-headed mouse spider is a terrifying-looking spider found in southern Australia, from the open forest to the desert shrubland. The female spider might be hard to identify, as it's all black, while the male spider has a bright red head and jaws, and a blue-black abdomen. I believe that's where it gets its redhead name. As common as these spiders are, they're rarely ever seen. This is because they are often in burrows along riverbanks and near waterways which is a good thing for humans, since their bite is considered to be as lethal as the funnel web spider. But that's not the only thing we should be grateful for. The mouse spider isn't aggressive, and it's often known to give dry bites, biting without releasing its venom. It may not be the most venomous on this list, but its venom is very toxic, though there have been no human demises recorded yet. Nevertheless, it's advised to be careful. Number 9. Australian Tarantulas Arachnophobia's in the house, here comes your worst nightmare. Though I'm pretty sure most of them left when they saw the title, let alone the fourth word of this video. We don't blame them though, we all have our fears. And the Chamber of Secrets from Harry Potter increased most of them, especially arachnophobia. The Australian Tarantula is also known as the Whistling Spider, because of the whistling sound they produce when they're threatened by predators. They're the most feared, yet most non-aggressive spiders in the world. This is because of its large body. The spider grows up to 16 centimeters in leg span, with long fangs. Like the red-headed mouse spider, they also live in burrows. Though their bites are very painful, the envenoming effects are rare. One bite results in 6 to 8 hours of nausea and vomiting, with severe illness followed. With such effects, I wonder why people still keep these spiders as pets. Number 8. Trapdoor Spiders Isn't this how it aggressively grabs its prey? Take another look! The trapdoor is the deadliest spider in Australia, and also one of the most clever. It covers and camouflages the entrance to its burrow with soil, vegetation, and silk. This helps in tricking their prey into thinking that it's a normal passage. Then, it suddenly opens the door, grabs the prey, and welcomes it into its home. The action of just leaping out of a hole like that is unnerving, but lucky for us, just like its trapped doors, it's not meant for humans. It'll cause some minor symptoms like localized pain, nausea, and lethargy, as if that's minor. Number 7. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider It's time to chill with the big spiders. If you thought the first three were dangerous, then it's time to think again because from here, the spiders are a hundred times more dangerous. The six-eyed sand spider is found in deserts and sandy places in southern Africa. You'd think it had six eyes because of its name, but no. Its name comes from the flattened stance and laterograde legs. It has small hairs on its body called setae that hold particles of sand providing the perfect camouflage, even when the spider's not buried. As for the venom of a six-eyed sand spider, it's been identified to be one of the most dangerous on record. That has no anti-venom. Studies show that the venom is likely many times the strength of the brown recluse. Luckily, its shyness and choice of habitat make it have very little contact with humans. The venom was tested on rabbits and experimentally shown as lethal to them within 5 to 12 hours. So what about humans? Though there's not been a record of loss of life, the venom may cause a victim to lose an arm, two massive necrosis, or leave a potent hemolytic impact, causing thinning blood, blood vessel leakage, and tissue destruction. I don't know about you, but that sounds nearly as bad as succumbing. Number 6. Black Widow Spider This is the most common spider in the world. While the creators of Spider-Man had good intentions when bringing their superhero to life, one thing they probably didn't factor out is how people would try to get bitten by these eight-legged creatures. But don't be misled, it's not always how it seems to be. 
The black widow spider is mostly identified by the colored hourglass-shaped mark on its abdomen. Its venom is not to be joked with. It's 15 times stronger than our rattlesnakes. The venom also goes to all its species, which are identified by the bright red hourglass on their abdomen and other red markings on their body. If you spot them, remember to stay away. Otherwise, a bite would result in a condition called latrodectism, which causes severe muscle spasms, nausea, and paralysis of the diaphragm, making breathing difficult. It doesn't take much venom to do the job. Lucky for us, an anti-venom was formulated. Though this doesn't mean you should go around getting bitten by a black widow. Number 5. The Brazilian Wandering Spider If a spider was listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the most venomous spider in the world, then it is not to be dabbled with. Also known as the Armed Spider or the Banana Spider, this is a large brown spider that has the most ecologically active venom of all spiders. Its name comes from the fact that it's an active hunter and wanders through the forest at night to hunt down prey instead of relying on spider webs. You know a spider means business when it's coming after you. It's aggressive and it does not hesitate to bite. A bite will be delivered dry if it's just startled and if pressed against something or hurt with venom. The venom contains high levels of serotonin that delivers a very painful bite, resulting in muscle shock. It also contains a highly potent neurotoxin that can lead to breathing problems and asphyxiation and loss of life. If that's not enough, the venom also causes priapism, which can result in permanent impotence. Even after taking anti-venom, a lot of losses were still reported. You do not want to mess with the spider. Number 4. White-Tailed Spider Could it get any better? No, we're doing the go hard or go home thing, so prepare for the worst. The white-tailed spider is one of the most deadliest spiders in the world, native to the south and east of the Australian continent. It gets its name from a white spot on its abdomen just above the spinnerets. Like the Brazilian wandering spider, it hunts at night, mostly targeting insects and even other spiders. They often come into contact with humans inside houses, often hiding in clothing especially if left lying around on the floor. Ready for a plot twist? For many years, the white-tailed spider's bite venom was claimed to cause necrotic ulceration, but recent research suggests that the spider's bite isn't at all linked to the condition. This doesn't mean that the venom isn't deadly. This spider's bite is similar to those of a bee sting, itching and skin discoloration, and a mild reaction that can last more than five weeks. To avoid being bitten by this spider, it's best if you shake out your sheets and towels before using them. Number 3. Sydney Funnel Web Spider If there's a spider that is feared in the entire world, that would be the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. It's the most venomous spider in Australia and among the most venomous on Earth. Native to the forested and urban areas across New South Wales, the spider can grow up to 3.5 centimeters in leg span. Their fangs aren't to be messed with either. They can grow to be longer than a brown snake and are so powerful, they can even pierce through your toenails. Yeah, you heard that right. And that's not all. The venom that comes out of the fangs is an ultimate arsenal. It's the only spider in the world that invariably transmits a full dose of venom. The venom attacks the nervous system and organs, leading to severe pain and injury. What's worse is that it doesn't just bite and run away, but it bites multiple times. Brutal, right? The venom has a trochotoxin that's very dangerous to every creature. It takes only 15 minutes or less for your soul to leave your body after a bite. Thankfully, an effective anti-venom was produced to reduce the number of fatalities in the world. Number 2. Northern Tree Funnel Web by the name, you could tell that they're closely related with the above Sydney funnel web. So, expect the worst. This family is not to be messed with. The normal tree funnel web is found in northern New South Wales and southern Queensland, Australia. Have you noticed that most of the spiders from this list are from Australia? That's off my bucket list destination. This spider is big, hairy, and scary, with a venom that matches its fierceness. Unlike their cousin, Forget about 15 minutes, 
This venom takes one minute for a victim's soul to leave the body, though it can be treated with the same anti-venom as the Sydney funnel web spider, but you don't want to take your chances here. Number 1. Recluse Spider Leaving the best for last, we present to you the most venomous spider in the world. It's native to the southern parts of Australia. In the recluse spider family, we have the brown recluse spider and the Chilean recluse spider, both of which are deadly and have the same venom symptoms. Their venom is hematoxic and it damages the blood cells and can disrupt blood clotting. The bites cause necrosis, meaning tissue at the side of the bite dies, making the wound grow up to 10 inches big and become very life-threatening. As for the Chilean recluse spider, it's even more toxic. Apart from that, it gives the victim systemic infections, resulting in kidney failure. Studies show that most people bitten by this spider do not survive, and for that, it's proven to be a spider to truly stay away from. Good thing they love hiding, otherwise humanity would be at stake. See you next time.